So again, this is the guide for our pickup truck. We will try to follow this. So again, we have to open our cue card, create a new file, and then we have to set our drawing units to centimeter. So we go to edit, drawing preference, drawing units, and we will select our uh, drawing units to centimeter, this one, centimeter. Apply, and then OK. There. So our approach is to divide our uh, plan into several manageable pieces. In this case, we will we will use several rectangles. So if you notice here, we have a red rectangle that will be for the main body of the pickup truck. We have a green rectangle for the top portion. We have two blue rectangles for the uh, fenders or wheel wells. Then we have one small rectangle, purple one, for the bumper. So first, we will draw a 486 by 78 millimeter, uh, centimeter rectangle. So the origin will start from here. So 486, 78. So I will just use my rectangle to, to do that. And then I will, uh, the first point will be on the origin. So I'll go to my, I know, my command line and I type there 486 by 78. Enter. There. So it's quite big. Yeah, so this is my rectangle. So again, we will create chamfers over here on the top portion and another one on the bottom portion. So the first chamfer will have a length of 105 by 13. So let's try to do that first. So the chamfer tool will be seen in the modification tools, which is this icon here. When you click that, it will give you different modification tools. And the chamfer among here is this one. So you click that and over here in your, your the top portion, you have to specify the length one chaka length two. So I'll type here 105. Tapos here, I will type 13. And make sure also that the trim uh, check mark is uh, enabled. So the first item that you have to select is the first entity. So that will be the length one. So it will be this top portion. And then the length two will be the this line. And there. So that's the chamfer. So very easy to, to do. Next one naman, the chamfer will be 61 by 11. We so just change these specifications here, 61 by 11. And then the same thing, this is the first entity, and then this is the second entity there. So that's the chamfer. So next, now we have to make this rectangle 215 by 52, starting at this point. So again, I'm going to use my rectangle tool to do that. I will snap here, make sure it's either intersection or end. In this case, lumalabas intersection. And then I'll just simply type the dimensions of the rectangle, 215 by 52. Next, we're going to do a little more chamfer. In this side, it will be 45 by 52. Let's try to do that. So again, modification tools, chamfer, 45 by 52. And then the first, the first entity will be this, tapos 52. The next one naman is 10 by 52. So I just changed this one, 10. So this will be this. This will be the first entity. And then this will be the second entity. And that's it. Oh, the wheel wells naman or fender. So we have uh, two rectangles, one here and another one here. The dimensions of the rectangle is 90 by 45 with the following location. We'll start with the first one, the front portion. So 24 ang X, ang Y natin will be zero. So rectangle tool, again, the rectangle. So the first corner will be 24, comma, zero. Enter. Yan. Tapos at 90 by 45. Enter. So 320, comma, zero. That's the same thing, 
uh, 90 by 45. Enter. What's next? Fillet. So we have to create several fillets. 30 radius fillet on the front portion, on the front portion of the wheel wells or fender and also here. So let's try to do that. The fillet is located again in the modification tools and it looks like this. This is the icon for the fillet. Well, sometimes you call it fillet, but in this case, it is called round. Ayan, round siya. Now we have to indicate here the radius. So in this case, the radius will be 30. Tapos you simply select the two entities that will have the round corner. So this one and this one. Tapos this, also this. So you just have to click it. Yan. Okay, the next one, at this portion, it is supposed to be 40. So you just change this to 40. Tapos, uh, yan. Select that, this, and this. And for this one, it is supposed to be 10. Let's change this to 10. And there. So next is we have to create an offset here. Yan. Offset is basically copying this entity and then making it a copy but with a certain offset distance. In this particular case, 10. So offset can be seen in the modification tools, which is ito. Offset with distance. Yeah, you select that and then you just simply indicate the offset distance here. In this particular case, 10. Then you just select the entity that you want to offset. You might want to zoom in here because you want to select all the entities that needs to be offset. So you have to, to, to pre-select to pre the entity. Then place your cursor on a certain position so that you can uh, identify or you can indicate which one to offset. Example, if I place my cursor near the bottom part, it will offset at the bottom. If I place it near the outside, it will offset in the outside. So we're supposed to do it in the outside just like this. There. The other wheel well, it will be 15. So I'll change this to 15. And again, you might want to zoom in para be able to select it properly. Yeah, that's pretty easy. What's next? Oh, wheels naman. We have to create the wheels. Draw the front and rear wheels using the circle tool with one at center 69 ang X, Y negative 13. The other 365 with Y negative 13. 75, the outside diameter. And then the inside is 50. So, all right. So circle tool, which is this one, I have to select the diameter. So 75. Input the diameter here. Yeah. And then we have to input the position. So 6, 9, comma, negative 13. Enter. Jensha. The other one naman is uh, 365, comma, negative 13. There. Then there's another one, 50. In this case, you can just use the the reference or the object snap into reference to make sure it is centered properly. Just like that. Then we have to, to trim out these elements here. Yeah. We'll do that, we will do that by using the breakout segment tool. The breakout segment tool is again located in the modification tools. And this is it. Ito, breakout segment. So we just have to select those things that we have to break or remove. In this case, this one, you have to click two times because there's two entities there. Remember, we have we created a large rectangle followed by a smaller rectangle. That means there's two entities here, which is on top of each other. That's okay for what we're trying to do, but next time, when, especially when you're going to have your item 3D printed or CNC cut, Make sure you don't have uh, entities overlapping another entity. Oh, ano naman tayo sa window. So again, this is the offset. Changes to 8. 
come closer there there and there easy very easy then we create these several lines here from the front portion of the car 116 105 and then 69 tapos this one is supposed to be 116 comma 0 enter tapos at 105 comma 0 and at 6 9 comma 0 yan then we can just create several lines like that looking for the end point and then indicating here perpendicular another one end and uh, yeah, I guess sometimes you really have to I cannot find yeah, perpendicular yeah so we have that then you can just delete this delete and delete it's a delete then so we have to now cut it accordingly yeah we have to break out segment using those things but yeah so this is the breakout segment there there just cut along again guys you cannot just use delete because a line is a line and if you try to delete it it will delete the entire line so you have to use a breakout segment yeah i think that's it so rectangle tool again i start here so at negative 15 by 45 enter so chamfer 15 by 8 there 15 8 so it is again a rectangle tool 196 by negative 15 enter and that's it natapos na yung ating pickup truck so don't forget to save